Hi, this is Scott with Solozo, and I wanted to talk to you guys today about broad phrase and exact match campaign types and why you would want to use them in the first place in your campaign. So when first starting out on Amazon and starting that campaign structure, I would recommend just an auto and a manual campaign. Um, but if you wanted to go and do some more testing and try out the different campaign types, then go ahead and do the, the broad and it phrase match as well. Uh, with broad and phrase, you can grab the longer tail search terms that you wouldn't normally get from the exact match. And quite possibly, it could take a lot longer for that auto campaign to discover those longer tail search terms that maybe a broad or a phrase match might do really well with. So as you can see here, we just have the standard auto to manual campaign. Um, but let's say we wanted to do, you know, broad or phrase as well. Um, what we could do is add in a couple of broad and phrase match campaigns. We would delete the link from the auto to the manual campaign as an exact match. And then we would start that transfer from auto to broad to phrase to exact. So now in Solozo, if you do have the software, you could do this really easily and the software easily makes those transfers for you automatically. Otherwise, if you're doing it by hand, you'd have to go into the search term reports and take all of the search terms that are converting and apply those same match types within Amazon Seller Central yourself. So you'd have to go into each broad phrase, phrase and exact match campaign and apply those, those search terms to there. Um, but you can see here, you know, we could set set this to uh, you know, when search term converts, uh, it will create a broad match. And then we'll select the destination. Um, there's no campaign currently, but we'll, whenever that search term converts, we'll create a broad uh, and so on. We can create the phrase and we can create the exact. Uh, so the whole point is that we're filtering down ultimately to an exact match keyword because we know these are exactly the search terms that people are typing in. So that way we can filter those down, those longer tail search terms, and we have more control over what's working and what's not. So keep in mind that this is definitely more testing involved like a broad and a phrase match is way more testing than it would be if we just went from auto to exact, or if we just did a manual exact match campaign. And if you do find that it's way too much testing and it's costing you way too much money, then go ahead and, and stop that, pause those campaigns, and just go back originally to your auto and, and manual exact match campaign. Um, other times as well, you could just be noticing maybe there's a lot of testing going on to the auto campaign. Just go ahead and cut that off as well, and then just focus on the most relevant search terms that you know are relevant to your product as an exact match into the manual campaign. So the exact match manual is where we're going to gain the most amount of control, or these other campaigns will ultimately be testing campaigns that will feed back into the manual.